everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making this pumpkin spice cake and it's the perfect fall dessert to have with like a chai tea or something like that and I think it came out really good so if you're interested in how I made this then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start by mixing the dry ingredients into this sifter here. I'm going to start with one and a half cups of flour. Next I'm going to add a quarter cup of this vanilla whey protein. And I've learned the hard way that you really can't replace too much flour with whey protein or else the recipe is just not going to work out. So usually for each recipe I only ever add a quarter cup of whey protein. Or make sure that it's at least less than a quarter of the total amount of flour. Next is a teaspoon of baking powder, another teaspoon of baking soda. So just like a good shaking of salt. After that I'm also going to add this pumpkin pie spice that we made in my last video which I will link above. Now I'm just going to set this aside and work on the wet ingredients and then once the wet ingredients are done I'm going to mix the dry ingredients in with the wet ingredients. Okay so I'm going to start by cracking an egg into my magic bullet container. Next I'm going to add a bit less than half a cup, so maybe a third of a cup of maple syrup. Next I'm going to add the margarine. You can also use coconut oil or olive oil or whatever else you like, but today I'm going to be using this margarine and I'm adding a tablespoon. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of this artificial vanilla extract. The last ingredient is a whole cup of pumpkin pie filling. This is the same pumpkin pie filling I used in my last recipe. So I'm using a whole cup of this and that's the final ingredient and then I'm going to blend it up. Now I'm just mixing the flour in with the pumpkin spice mix, the, the liquid ingredients, and then we'll be done. It's a little thick, so I'm going to add just a touch of cashew milk. So I gave it a taste, and it tastes really good, but I just want to add a touch more of the pumpkin spice seasoning. Okay, so now this is done and I'm just going to get out a cake pan. 
I'm going to use this round cake pen. I think it's 8 inch. And I'm going to be spraying it with um, this canola oil cooking spray. Okay, so here's the cake ready to go into the oven, and I've got the oven set to 350. So I'm just going to pop it in for about 20 minutes. Now I've put the pumpkin spice cake on the balcony to cool off. Uh, it took about 25 minutes, and I just checked whether it was done by putting a knife in the cake and if it came out clean then I knew it was done. So yeah, it smells really good, it's looking really good and I'm just going to let it cool down before I try a slice. Okay, I'm really excited to try this. And I forgot to mention earlier that I actually tried to make this exact same thing last year, but it didn't turn out too great. And it's because I used um, half sugar substitute, half sugar, and then I also tried to add in the whey protein and, you know, so I, I, I tried to do too many things to it to make it healthy and I just ended up destroying the recipe completely. So this time around I tried to be more reasonable. So as you saw, I only put a quarter cup of whey protein and I used maple syrup instead of sugar. So hopefully this year it turned out better. I'm really excited to try it. I also made a cup of tea to go with it, so I'm just gonna pour that. Okay, moment of truth. It's actually really good and you can't taste the whey protein at all because there was so little in there compared to like the whole size of the cake but i'm still glad there's some in there because it just ups the protein a little bit the texture is really fluffy can you see like how fluffy it is it's like a super fluffy cake and i really really like how the texture came out um Overall, like I'm glad I added that extra little bit of spices at the end because even though I could taste them so well in the batter, when you actually bake the cake, the spices don't come through as much. So I feel like I even could have added another spoonful of spices to it because I want the pumpkin spice to be like right in your face, whereas this is a bit more mild, but it definitely has that pumpkin flavor from the pumpkin pie filling and it's sweet enough, so I'm glad I didn't add any extra sugar on top of um, the sugar that was already in there so yeah I'm super happy this is my best attempt yet and it's super delicious I will definitely eat the rest of it yeah so if you try this out like definitely let me know how it goes I think it's a great recipe and I will definitely make it again thanks for watching and please subscribe